This uh, choreography process has been different from other ones because it's not like I'm choreographing something that has already been done, so I have no reference to look to. It's not like I'm doing, um, you know, cabaret that I can just go look at some videos and get inspired. This has all been original choreography mounted by uh, Mr. Munoz and me. And um, it's been challenging, but at the same time, it's very, um, we have a lot of uh, creative freedom. Um, and because of the, the genre, uh, we get to do a little bit of everything. We do a little bit of tango, we get to do even a little bit of jazz. Um, we do some footwork, interesting footwork uh, that you're gonna get to see. Um, we also do a danzón, we do a rumba, that we're making it uh, really uh, rumba flamenca, which is gonna be really interesting. When you have different genres, you are working with different time signatures, you know, where you have three fours and four fours and six eights. And sometimes we're not only just doing things on time, sometimes we do some counter rhythms and that makes it a little bit more difficult for them to follow. We try to modify as much as we can, but once we know, once we see and we feel like uh, the movement is, is being uh, executed properly, then we, we, of course, challenge them a little bit more. He has a, a great background in all these uh, Latin genres and all the ballroom genres. So um, I bring a little bit of the more modern and um, more youthful uh, steps to it that it accommodate well with the with the damas. And he brings all the elegance of the of the quinceañera waltz and of the prologue. So I feel like we're complementing each other really well. And I'm really really proud and happy to be working with who was my director. The students are really eager to learn, and that's the key to the whole thing. I mean. If, if they are hungry to learn, then it's, it's a piece of cake for, for, for me and as a choreographer. But they, they, they are doing a really good job.